Hey everybody, this is Jim the Tabletop Engineer and welcome to a new playthrough video. Today I'm playing Frostgrave and the scenario today is called the library and it's supposed to represent an underground library that's supposed to be sort of like a maze with a lot of corridors and things like that. So I don't really have walls of books. So what I'm going to do is I have these tiles that I've made uh, and I'm going to use them to sort of create this this maze, all right? So it says that there are four entrances. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with one here, one here, one here, and one here. And these will also be where the wandering creatures uh, will start. I'll go, um, I'll roll, if I can't find a D4, which I should be able to, you know, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That'll be where they show up. And then the rest of these tiles, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of, I'm going to start with the big ones, which are those, and then I'm going to go to the next size down, which is, I only got, I only got three of these. Then I've got a bunch of these smaller ones. It's, I'm just trying to separate them out. I've got a few corridors, which should be good. And then I've got a bunch of little ones. All right, I'm just trying to inventory what I have so I can see how to plan this. So I just figured you guys might might enjoy watching as I set this up. Today I'm going to be playing <clears throat> my level 6. He's leveled up to level 6. Um, he's banking a lot of XP, but he hasn't been able to spend it because I really haven't found any spells that I want to um, that I want to use. So what I'm doing here is I'm just randomly placing these and then what I'll do is I'll, I'm trying to get everything sort of connected. Um, I'm just gonna, gonna do this to sort of create this maze that, uh, that my wizards will wander around in. And again, this is just a library, it's supposed to be the halls of a library, I guess. And um, I guess I could have used two of those to make one. All right, I'll put this here. Um, it's almost like a dungeon crawl, really, if you think about it. Uh, it's kind of cool. Um, let's see, I could probably put that in here, one long hallway. And again, it's supposed to be filled with like bookshelves. And uh, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it that the bookshelves are, you know, against the wall. So as long as you're, we'll have to figure that out. I'll, I'll think about that. Um, what I want to do is create a lot of ways to connect the rooms um, and the hallways just to give a lot of crazy um, crazy ways to to get to places let's see let's do let's do this that that's not bad I've got a few small ones left here I'll just drop these in to sort of grow some places Let's do this and this. So basically, my my wizards and guys will be able to just sort of fan out. Um, I will. What I'm going to do is obviously, if they grab a treasure token, they can exit at any of the four corners. So if they're way over there, they can go out that way. And then I'm going to place. Well, I need another one. <laughs> I'll place these here to indicate the doorways. And the rules state that my warband must start within six inches of the door. And then I'll place a random treasure here, and then I'll do the others in a, in a different location. Let's go ahead and do that. So the, the first treasure will be placed right here, which is, I guess that's close enough to center. Um, and the other ones, I'm going to place them, uh, let's do one... They have to be within, I think, nine inches. So let's do the other one right there and another one over here. So that'll be an interesting little exercise to see how to get. Well, I guess I could go this way. All right. The question is going to be whether do I whether I split up my my party my party to go after or not. All right. So that is all set up. Um, next thing I need to do is <coughs> roll some random dice. I'll do this once I get my warband set up down here. So now that I've got the library set up, <coughs> um, I'll grab some minis, grab some dice, grab my minis for my warband, and we'll get playing. Okay. I am ready to go. First thing I need to do 
is put out some random wandering monsters. So because my character is level 6, I'm still going to be rolling on the first column for wandering creatures. And I will roll a d20 for the for this corner over here. Well, yeah, for this one is a giant rat times 4. So I will get 4 rats. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 rats. We'll start right here. Now the nice thing about the, this is sort of like a dungeon crawl, is they won't be able to see me. So a lot of their movements is going to be random until they spot me. The next creature, which will go up there, is going to be a nine, which is a just one giant rat. All right. And I'm going to make it two just to keep it interesting. And then the last one, or the third one, will go right here. And that is a six, which is a ghoul. Ooh, okay. Uh, ghoul, let me see. I know I've got a ghoul here somewhere. And I have a ghoul. All right, let me get the ghoul stats. I'm keeping a running cheat sheet of all the creatures I've encountered. So a ghoul. And, of course, I, as always, I'm missing something I need, which is a pen. One second. All right, the ghoul is move six, fight plus two, Shoot plus zero, armor ten, will plus two, and a health of ten. And we'll put that right there. All right. Now, I don't have any before game spells to cast. So, as per the previous games, if you've been watching this, I'm playing this solo. So, I have Wandering Creatures set up, and then at the end of each round, or, tar or yeah, each end of each round, I will uh, roll a d10 on a 10 or higher, there's a wandering monster, and then I'll roll to see which of the doorways that it appears at. Uh, I'm using standard random monster uh, rules, so if they can't see me, which right now they cannot, uh, they'll move in a random direction, and I'll roll using a, d a d20. And what I do is I roll the dice, and I look at the number, and where it's pointing, where the top of the number is the direction they'll move. If they hit a wall, they'll continue, I'll just, stop and and keep going uh let's see what else uh okay so it's going to go wizard phase apprentice phase creature phase soldier phase that's the only difference with the solo rules so on my on my first wizard phase i am going to cast oh by the way i forgot um i did uh i got quite a i got a little windfall in the last game so i now have i got another ranger um I got a ranger, and what else did I do? Let's see my notes. I improved. I spent 50 on an, oh, no, an infantryman. Where is that? Oh, yeah, I knew I had some. I have, now I got rid of some thugs, and I have an infantryman, a man-at-arms, a ranger, a treasure hunter, and a ranger. And the infantryman, by the way, let me double check. I think I've got... I think I've got too many specialists. How did I do that? Let me see. No, I don't. The infantrymen and the man-at-arms are considered standard soldiers, so I did not go over. I knew that. I was thinking I didn't do that wrong. All right, so the, here's, the, um, here's the goal. You were in a library, and um, let me just read it to you here. So, have discovered an underground library. Most of the books are frozen solid. Others have been ruined by damp, but there are a few treasures to be found. The special rules, um, whenever I roll for the center treasure, if I get it, uh, to pl the player that recovers it gets a free random scroll in addition to whatever is rolled. For each of the other treasure tokens, you can re-roll any result that does not include a scroll or grimoire. Keep the results of the second roll no matter what. Uh, no, no special XP for this scenario. So basically, if I just get these two off the map, I'll get to roll, and if it's not a grimoire or a scroll, I can choose to roll again if I want. All right, but I have to take the second roll. So my wizard on his first turn is going to cast Enchant Weapon. He needs an eight. I rolled a 19. I am going to cast that on my infantryman, which is, uh, I'm going to make it the Green Knight. And he gets plus, he's now plus four. He's got plus one on his weapon. Um, 
and they will all move. So the wizard is back here. He can move, what, nine? Yeah. No, he can move six. I mean, he cast the spell. So he can move. I've got to make sure the line of sight of these things. Yeah, he can move six. And then these four will move around him, or three, sorry, will move to surround him. And then they, do I want them? I'm not going to have them move again. I want to keep them together. So that is going to be it for the um, for the uh, wizard. The other thing I've been doing, and I forgot, is I've been I want to track my spells. So I've been using this little canister right here, and what I do is I drop a green one in for a successful spell, a red one in for a failed spell, and a blue one in when I kill a creature. Because you do get XP for failed spells, successful spells, and killing creatures. All right, now it is the apprentice's turn. Again, the apprentice will cast Enchant Weapon. He needs to roll a 10 or higher. And he rolled a 12. He is going to cast it on... He'll cast it on the Man-at-Arms. Uh, Man-at-Arms is the Dwarf Spear. And I change these from game to game. I never can remember who's who until I get really into the game, and then I start recognizing certain ones. So he is now plus four with his spear. And the apprentice will also move six, which puts him right about here. And these guys will surround him. All right. And then all that's left is my treasure hunter and one of my rangers, and I'm gonna, oh, they'll move during the soldier phase. So he cast a successful spell. Now it is the random creature's turn. Now, I have this little laser that tells me line of sight. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. So the rats, the rats line of sight, I'm, I'm using this one right here. It, he cannot, this wall would block. Well, hold on. Nope, just barely. They can't see, but if they end up moving this way, that's going to happen. So let's move randomly for the rats. The rats will move this direction. The rats move six. So six inches. I'm just going to keep them as a group. We put here and right here. And then they'll move three this direction. So closest one. So they'll move right about here. So at this point, they can see. There is a direct line of sight from, oh yeah, yeah, that one can see them. And if they couldn't, once they move up here, they will. All right, let's do those rats over there. They will move randomly this direction, six inches, which puts them right at the corner. And then three, or no, this way, yeah, three this way, so they'll move over here. And then the ghoul, and the ghoul cannot see. All right, the ghoul will move, uh, well, it shows it going back out, so let's re-roll that. He'll move this way. Oh, not good. The ghoul can move six, which would put him in this hallway. And at this point, I believe now he can see... No, nope, he cannot, but he will on the next one. He cannot see. And then his next move will be three this way. And at this point, yes. <laughs> now he sees Now he sees that guy. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. So that's not good. Um, last but not least, my two, the treasure hunter, can move six, I believe. Six for the treasure hunter, so he'll move nine in all. He's going for it. He's going to say, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. He'll move his full nine right here. Actually, you know what? I may go around the rats because now they're going to see. That's what I'm going to do. So I think he was right here. He was right there. So I'm going to move him up six and over three. So he's going to go the roundabout way. Now, granted, I don't know where the treasures are, but I am going to sort of split them up. So he's going to go this way. He works on his own and... 
the rest of these guys will sort of spread out up here. So the bad news is the ghouls and the rats have now spotted my party. And I also now need to... Oh, this guy hasn't moved. He can move... He's one of my rangers, so he can move six, which puts him eh, sort of in here. He can't see a rat, but he will move three over here so that he can take a shot at that ghoul if that ghoul makes a heads in this direction. All right, so that is the end of the turn. Now I roll for a random creature on a 10 or higher. It is an 11, so yes, there is a random creature. What is it going to be? It's going to be a 15, which is a wild dog. Actually, it's two wild dogs. And those will appear three over here. So they appear over here, and they will move on their next turn. Do I have wild dogs? I do not have wild dogs on here. Let me get their stats real quick. Wild dog is move eight. Ow. Plus zero fight, plus zero shoot. Eight armor, four health. Okay, plus zero. They are pack hunters, so they stay together. And, ooh, all right, so the animals are starting to get up. All right, now it is my turn. Um, wizard's phase. I am going to cast... I'm going to cast enchant weapon on as many of these guys as I can. Uh, eight or higher. I rolled a nine. So yes, he will cast it on the ranger bow. So it's plus three shoot. And I get a success. The wizard will move up a little bit. And then these other guys will move their full to, to create a shield block the wizard and to hopefully get a little better advantage on this ghoul which is going to soon come and attack one doesn't matter which one he attacks that person's going to get an ally with him all right um the apprentice the apprentice will cast enchant weapon i can't just telekinesis because i can't see any treasure i can't i don't need heal Elemental Bolt, he can't see anything yet. He could move, and you know what? He's going to move up. I'm going to shift these guys just a little bit. He's going to move up just enough to see the ghoul, and he will cast Elemental Bolt. He's got to cast, uh, he's got to roll a, no, he can't, duh. He just cast the weapon, duh. I don't know what I'm thinking. Two, no, he didn't. He didn't cast a, a, a thing yet. And I'm going to cast Elemental Bolt. So he needs, oh, he needs a 14, is that right? A 13, I rolled it, to, I, I lowered it to 11. So he needs a 13 or higher. I rolled a five, so he failed that. All right, and then the guys near him will also move up. The ranger will, no, that's not the ranger. That is, yeah, that is, that's my ranger. That's a thug. And the other guy will move here. Um, so the ranger gets uh, has a bow. He can shoot. Now he moves, so he's minus one. So his shoot, and I did I did do the let's see the ranger was uh, yeah. So that ranger is the green cloak. He will take a shot. So now he's at plus two again, versus the rat fight, which is plus zero. So I'm plus two versus plus zero. I rolled a natural one, so I missed. All right. And now it is the creature phase. The rats can move six. Which will get them here. And then they will move three, which will engage them. Ugh. Four rats, three defenders. All right. Well, that's okay. That's what they're there for. Um... The ghoul can totally move. He will attack. Actually, uh, let's see which one he's going to move to. One, two, three, four, five, six. He moves to the one on the end. So that guy only has one ally. So he is a thug. He is plus two. Plus, he's plus four versus the ghouls plus two. And he's attacking red, red guy here. 
plus two to plus four. I rolled a five, no, I rolled a seven to his eight, but eight is not enough to get through the armor, so that's a good thing. All right, the rats up here will move this direction, six, which would put them behind the treasure, and then they'll move this way three inches. We'll just move them over here. And then the dogs move eight. Oh man, they can they see my treasure hunter who's up against the wall there? I don't think they can. No, they cannot. There's a wall blocking line of sight. So they will move. Of course they move this way, eight inches. So now they will see him. Eight inches. Oh wow. Row, row, row. They're down here. And then this one sees, and they can move their half, and they are engaged with my treasure hunter, which is horrible. All right. Kind of suspected that would happen. The wizard can also see them now, so maybe the wizard can help. Now it is the soldier phase. So the the treasure hunter will be fighting, but they get a they get a plus two on their the dogs or plus zero to fight. So it's plus two to my plus two. And I always roll red, by the way. I rolled a 19 to seven. 19 plus two is 21. 21 versus the armor of eight. That's enough to kill one of the dogs. All right, so I got an animal and killed a, killed a beast. I also failed, yeah, I did fail the spell, okay. Um, the I think all of the other guys moved. No, he moved um, during this, the, he moved. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think I may have moved an extra soldier, but I'm not sure. One, two, three, one, two. No, I didn't. Yeah, I did. But he, uh, I can't recall. It's three and three, which is six. So one, two, three, one, two, three. I think I moved an extra one. So what I'll do is I'll put, I don't know. Leave it. <laughs> Let it go. All right. Um, let's resolve the other soldier. I, since there wasn't another one, that'll be. So it, now it's wizard phase. Actually, I got to roll four. Uh, wandering monster. I rolled a 15, so yes, there's another wandering monster. It is going to be a 19, which is an imp. And the imp is going to appear down here. Oh boy. I've got him from all sides now. Okay. Imp is right there. And he can see my wizard. All right, my wizard phase turned, sees the imp. He does not, he really needs to cast Elemental Bolt. Elemental Bolt can be cast on an 11 or higher. He rolls an 8. I will take 3 health, 3 loss hit. I'm now down to 14 to make that a successful spell. Put it right on my mat. Uh, I will cast that. And it's a plus 7 shoot versus a plus, the imp is plus 1 fight. So plus 7 versus plus 1. Uh, 18 to my 14, so it misses. Ugh, that's not good. Um, now, the group activation allows these three to activate. So the ranger will attack. Well, he can shoot, actually, because he's not right next. He's not engaged with them. He is plus... All right, so that guy right there, green, is a, is a ranger. He's plus two to fight. That guy is my... Infant uh, is my man at arms. He's plus four. Let's do have him go first. Plus four versus rats of plus zero. Plus four, and he's plus six actually because he's got an ally. <clears throat> uh, 13 to its 15. <laughs> he misses. Come on. All right. The green cloak guy is my ranger. He's a plus two fight, but he's plus four with. He's got two allies beside him. One, two. The rats, somehow, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll just do plus four to plus, he'll get one ally. Plus four to plus zero. I rolled a 19. That's enough to probably kill one. 19 minus 10, nine, yeah. One rat is down. So that was good. Um, and I forgot to put a failed spell for the elemental bolt. Um, this guy will fight. He's plus four to plus zero. I uh, got an eight <laughs> to hit six. Eight's not enough to hurt it. 
Uh, its armor is ten. Uh, its armor is six. Hold on, it is armor is six. So yeah, an eight does hit. So he kills one. All right. Um, oh wait a minute. I this guy. Oh yeah, he missed because he rolled lower. Never mind. Um, so all three have attacked. That's now the. Uh, it is now the um, apprentice's phase. Apprentice is going to cast elemental bolt. He needs a 13. I rolled a 9. I will take the 4. I don't want to, but I need that spell cast. So he will cast it successfully. And I said I, I cast a failed spell. No, the, the spell spell cast successfully, it just did not hit. So I replaced that red with a green. So the apprentice does hit, and it's plus 7 shoot versus the imps plus 1. Plus 7 to plus 1. I rolled a 24 to its 4. 24 versus armor 10. 14 is enough to kill the imp. So that was a good that was good use of that. Although now I've left the ghoul uh, unattended. Now, group activation, these two can activate. I don't think this other one can. Three inches. Yeah, he's within three. They well, he will he will move to surround the ghoul. So now all of them will get plus two, four, plus six to hit. So let's start with this thug. Plus six versus plus zero. Uh, I rolled a natural one to its 18. 18 does hit. Uh, oh, it's plus two, 20. 20 versus armor 10, so he just killed one of my thugs. Ah. All right, so the second thug will go. Now he's at plus four because he lost an ally. Plus four to plus two. I roll 17 versus 10, seven points of damage on this. So 10 minus seven is three, he's wounded. So you can only take one action. And then this last guy is plus four to plus two. 19 should do it. 19 versus the ghoul's armor of 10 is nine. It's got one point left. So he's got, he's wounded and got one health left. Ah, and this one's got three. So let me write that down before I forget. The uh, the thug called uh, Dwarf Runner is down to three health. All right, I'm gonna hopefully you'll be able to cast heal in him shortly. Um, that is it for the apprentice phase. Now the the creatures. We'll start with the with the dog. The dog is plus zero to fight versus plus two for the. Thing. Um, I rolled a oh, it rolled a nat twenty, so I think that's going to kill my treasure hunter. Treasure hunter is armor ten. Yeah, oh yeah, my treasure hunter is out. Ah, um, so he attacked, and now he can move, which means he can move up to four, which is enough to engage my wizard. Not good. All right, so. So yeah, there's that. All right, um, the rats. The rats will move this direction, six, so one, right about here. And then they'll move their other three that way. They're just rats, they're just wandering around. The ghoul, the ghoul will attack the wounded guy because he's plus zero to fight. So the ghoul is plus two, but he gets plus two because he's got an ally, so it's plus two to plus two. I rolled a 10. To its night twenty, which is enough to kill my last thug, or my my next thug. Man, these thugs are dropping like flies. And that is it for the creature phase. Oh no, there's two rats here. Sorry, these rats will attack. They are plus zero, because uh, the plus two and plus two cancels out because they've all got allies. So it's just plus two to plus zero. I rolled a nine to its six. Nine versus its armor of six is enough to kill a rat. All right, so killed another rat. And the other rat will will now gets, gets plus zero to my plus four. And I rolled a six to its 15. Are you kidding me? 15 minus 10 is unbelievable. Uh, he's wounded. 15 minus 10 is five. No, he's not. He's got five health left. All right, he's got five health left. 
And that is it for the creature phase. Now it is the soldier phase, which means this one, this one, this one, this one. That one already activated during, no he didn't. I didn't, I didn't group activate any of my soldiers, did I? I don't think I did, no. I just cast spells and then moved on. Um, the ranger will shoot. He is plus, he's the gray cloak. Uh, I did not cast anything on him, so he's just plus two to the plus, the dog's plus zero. I rolled a 17, to, it's 19, so it dodges the, uh, dodges the shot. Uh, oh, you know what? He can't shoot because he's engaged with my wizard. Never mind. Don't worry about that. Um, instead, what I'll do is I'll just move him into contact with the uh, dog to get a bonus there. Um, this one will also move into contact. And I think those already went with the rat. Uh, I can't recall. Eh, we'll leave it alone. And I think that one I group activated with the apprentice because he did. Uh, it, yeah, I did. I did. So I'm not going to do anything else. Uh, end of the phase. It is now no no one. Oh nope, sixteen. That is a wonder creature. I swear, am I ever going to be able to not deal with this? All right, let's see. Roll a twelve, which is an ice spider. Let me get one of those. The ice spider, the ice spider will appear 15, which is over here. All right. And now it is the wizard phase. So the wizard phase, these guys would have group activated to gather around the dog. They are going to help the wizard fight. So the first one's going to go. Uh, he will attack with plus six versus the dog's plus zero. He gets a 17 versus 14, 17 versus armor Eight is nine, which is enough to kill the dog. I knew that group activation would come in handy. I need another blue. All right. Uh, now, since it's the wizard's turn, I will tell... They all move. They move to get around the dog. So now, the wizard will cast heal. He needs a, an eight. No, he needs a 12. Man, he needs a 12. I rolled a natural one, so he failed that spell. All right. Uh, he's going to just stay put. Apprentice phase. Apprentice is going to cast... He can't cast Elemental Bolt on him because he is engaged. So instead, he will cast Heal as well. He needs a 14. I rolled a 2, so he failed. All right. Um, but he can tell to group activate. All of these guys are within three inches. So they will attack the rat. He gets plus four to plus zero. And I rolled a seven to its nine. It wins, but it's not enough to get through the armor. The other guy will attack at plus four, plus two is plus six. And I rolled, are you kidding me? An 11 to its 16. 16 does get through the armor of my man-at-arms for four points. He's got eight points left. He's got eight health left, which is fine. This guy will attack the, um, the ghoul, who has one hit point left. And I am he's wounded, so he gets no modifiers. I get plus two. I rolled a 16 plus two is 18, which is enough to kill him. All right, got a ghoul dead. All right, one dead monster. All right, um, that is the apprentice phase. Now it is the creature phase. There is one rat that's going to attack. Plus zero to plus four. Uh, I got 17 to 17, which is a tie. So they both... That's going to kill him. Hold on. 17... Minus his armor, green cloak, 17 minus 11 is 6. No, he's got... How did, I, how did I have him down as 5 hit points? He's dead. doesn't matter. He died. A rat killed him. That is ridiculous. All right. That's, that's Frostgrave for you. All right. And I haven't even got a treasure yet. 
All right, uh, the monsters are dead. Let's let's get going. The ice spider can't see me. All right, so that was the um, creature phase. I forgot to roll for this one. Uh, Thirteen. We'll move it. The ice spider moves six, so it will move towards the treasure six, and then three randomly will move that way three, so it's up here on the wall. All right, let's go. Uh, it is now the wizard phase. Wizard will take these two and move their full range of uh, nine, which will put him, let's see, nine, oops, six, uh, that will go uh, six, three. So he would go here, and these guys are sort of with him. He sees a treasure. Aha, treasure. He yells down to the apprentice, we spotted one. Go the other direction. So the wizard, the apprentice is going to take these two guys. They're all within three. Oops. And going to move them the full nine. So let's see. Let's go to here would be six. And then three is right there. So these guys will maximum move and just sort of stay with him. Technically, they could be ahead of him, but I'm going to keep them sort of protecting him like that. All right. Um, it is now the creature phase. Um, those two will move this direction, six. And then, oh, they see. Oh, I didn't. They see, the, they see them, and they'll move their additional three. So I'm dealing with rats. The spider will move. Uh, well, it's going this way, so let's re-roll that this way. Uh, six, which bumps it into the wall so it moves. And then let's move it three more, which will go this way. So two, three. So that, that spider is hidden. And then the, I have no soldier phase, so now it's the end of the turn. I need to roll for a random creature. A 20. <laughs> what did I roll? Uh, a six. A six will get me... Six is going to be a ghoul. And where is this ghoul going to appear? Eleven. The ghoul will appear. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Over here. And the ghoul sees my... These guys. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, man. Okay, 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 okay. Now, um, it is the... It is the wizard's phase. The wizard is okay health-wise. He's... He's down from 17 to 14. He's not going to cast a spell or, or a heal spell. Instead, he's going to cast um, on this ranger. He's going to cast enchant weapon on his bow. It's a did it 14. So the green, the hand, the uh, the wiv the uh, gray cloak is plus three to shoot. And now he will shoot at one of the rats. So he's plus three to plus zero. I rolled a five, which doesn't even get through the rat's armor. So he misses. Successful cast of a spell, though. And I will tell the thug to attack this nearest one. And it's plus two to plus zero. I rolled an eight to its 18. So 18, 8, he's down to 2 health. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And he's also injured or wounded. Great. So he will he will be right here. Oh, man. Okay, apprentice phase. The apprentice needs... The apprentice is down to 11 health. He will order... He'll move up and order these other guys to move up. And guard him and he will cast elemental bolt which is a 13 come on I rolled a 17 so he did get it plus 7 versus plus 2 plus 7 versus plus 2 I rolled an 11 to its 5 11 versus its armor of 10 is one hit point so it's down down to 9 wow it was really injured and that is that. Um, it is... Oh, he cast a successful spell, too. 
Uh, it is the rat's turn. The rats will move up. Each one's engaging a guy, so it's plus zero to my plus fours. Actually, he's wounded, so he gets no benefit. So he's just plus, plus zero to plus zero, and he dies. The other one is plus two to plus zero, and he rolls a 20 to a nat 20. Guess what the nat 20 does? Well, we both, I kill the rat, but he also dies because his, the gray cloak, oh no, 20 minus, 20, hold on, it does plus five damage, so it's 20 minus 11 is nine, nine plus five is 14, yeah. That's enough to kill my ranger. Welcome to Frostgrave. Where the dice hate you. Unbelievable. All right. So the rat went. Uh, the ghoul will attack. He moves it's plus two to plus four. He's going to attack the, the green knight, who is also plus six. Plus six to plus two. I got a ten to its nine. And ten is not enough to get through its armor. So, And then this one, I had these mixed. This was my apprentice this guy. So the man at arms is also plus six versus plus two. And I rolled an 11 to its 13. 13 minus his armor of 12 means he takes one hit point. He's down to seven. That was not a good play. The spider sees this guy and runs over. He's distracted. So the ice spider is plus one, but now he's plus three to my plus six. Thankfully, I got a 23, which is plenty to kill the spider. I'm out of, no, almost out of blues. I think I can only kill 10 creatures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more creature, and I don't track blues anymore. All right, that is it for the creature phase. Now it's the soldier phase. I have no soldiers left. It is the wandering creature, and I did roll the wandering creature. What is it? It's a 12, which I believe is an imp. No, 20 was an imp, I think. 12 is an ice spider again. And where does it appear? Four. It appears over here. All right. Time to get, time to get crazy. The wizard will see the rat. He will cast elemental bolt. He needs an 11. I rolled a 16, so it's plus seven, shoot. Plus seven versus plus zero, come on. I rolled a 17, that is plenty to kill the rat. So I got the last creature, I've maximized the blues I can do. And the rat is dead. He will move forward to the treasure, and on his next turn he will pick it up and try to get out of the dungeon. It is now the apprentice's phase. The apprentice will group attack. The apprentice will cast heal on my... Well, the green knight's okay, but the dwarf guy is not. He'll try to cast heal, which is... Actually, he'll cast enchant armor. So he only needs... An enchant armor is... He needs an eight, a ten. And he got a four, so he failed it. So a failed spell... And then these two guys will attack. So he's, they're both plus six versus plus two. I got a natural one, which is a miss. And then this guy, and he, he didn't roll. He rolled a five. Uh, and then this guy's plus six to plus two. And I rolled an 11 to its 14. 14 versus its armor of 12 is two more points. So he's down to five. Come on. It is now the creature phase. Spider will move this way, six, so he goes two, four, and then he'll move his last ones back this way, three. The ghoul is plus zero versus plus, or plus two versus plus six. 16 versus its 14. 16 versus an armor of 10 is four points. So he's from nine down to five. He goes down to five health. Come on, where's the five? Five, and then the other, and then that's it. That's, that's his attack. He attacks once. Um, wandering creature, because I have no soldiers left. No wandering creature, thankfully. Let's do a, let's do the wizard. The wizard will pick it up. 
and then he can only move half, so six plus three is nine, so he can move four and a half inches. So he can move to right about here, right about there. The Apprentice will cast Elemental, well, I'll cast uh, Heal, which he needs a, no, I'm going to cast Enchant Armor again. He needs a 10. He got it. So Enchant Armor, he'll cast it on the uh, injured one, which raises his armor what? Plus one? Plus one. So he's up to 13 armor, not 12. Every little point counts. He'll tell them to attack. This one will attack. Plus six versus plus two. Natural one misses to his two. The other guy, plus six to plus two. I rolled a nat 20. That's plenty to kill the ghoul. I get no star for that because I've maxed out my things. The knight attacked, and now he will move. I guess that's not quite three. Yeah, he almost right there. All right, and then the others will... This guy will back will just stay to protect the apprentice. Now it's the creature phase. This one will move this way six, and then he'll move his three. Continuing. Um, this is not good. He may see my he may see my wizard in a minute. Uh, wandering creatures. I rolled a fourteen, so there is one. What is it? It is a twenty. That's an imp, if I remember right. Nope, twenty is an ice toad. I will put an ice toad in. And where will it appear? 13. Over here. Great. Just perfect. <clears throat> All right. Wizard phase. He will move four and a half. Now, he doesn't know the spider's here, so he's just getting out. Four and a half will put him right here. And believe it or not, the spider can now see him. So he moved double. He cannot cast a spell, which is not good. Uh, the spider moves six. Yes, he can engage my... He will be able to engage my wizard. Uh, okay. Um, apprentice phase. He sees this. He will cast Elemental Bolt. He needs a 13. I rolled a 14. So it's plus seven to plus... Ice Toad is... Plus two. Plus seven to plus two. I rolled an 11 to its 10. 11 versus its armor 10 is 1. It's got 5 health, so it's down to 4 health. And it is wounded. 4 or less is wounded. Um, I will tell this one to run forward and attack. He is plus 2 to plus 0. I rolled a 7 to its 11. 11 versus my armor of 13. It does no damage. Um... It is now the soldier phase. This soldier, instead of going to the treasure, will move six to engage. He is now plus six to plus zero. I rolled a 14 to its nine. 14 versus armor 10 is four hit points, which is enough to kill it. All right, they're getting tired of this. They want that treasure and to get out. All right, it is now... The creatures have moved. No, that was the apprentice phase, wasn't it? No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm getting confused again. I need a little counter to track the phases. Let me double check. He cast, and then he ordered him to move. And then it should have been creature phase, and then it should have been soldier phase. So this one will move to engage, but it double moves so it cannot hurt. I mean, it can't attack this turn. So now it is the end of the round. Uh, random creature? No, thankfully. All right, my poor wizard will drop the treasure, and he will cast Elemental Bolt. He needs a an 11. I rolled a 14, so it is plus 7 versus the spider's plus 1. I rolled a 19, 19 versus 0, that's enough to kill the spider. <sighs> All right, so he cast a spell, but he can't move. He, that was his action, so he can't pick the treasure up again. Now it is the apprentice's turn. <laughs> the apprentice tells the guy to... They're all within three, yeah. So get to the treasure. He easily can move to the treasure and pick it up. This guy is going to leave. Well, no, he's just going to stand there in case something else pops up. The wizard will also move over here into the corner... And he will cast Heal. Uh, he needs a 14. 
I rolled a 14, so plus five, I will give that to the to um, him. He's a back up to nine health, this guy. Okay, last but not least, it is a random creature. No random creature. All right, wizard, pick up the treasure and then move uh, half, which is three. So he can move three. Uh, this guy will... Um, cast uh, heal on himself. He needs to roll a 14. I rolled a 9. He fails it. So I did cast a success and now I cast a fail and I forgot to record the wizard's successful elemental bolt. Creature phase. There are no creatures. Soldier phase. He will move it. He can move four and a half inches so he will go here. On his next turn he should be able to escape. Random creature. Yes, there is a random creature. What is it? A nine. Nine is... I think I'm going to try to remember to photocopy all these so I don't have to keep flipping. Nine is a giant rat. And where will this one giant rat appear? Over here. Excellent. It is now the wizard phase. He will move four and a half, which gets him here. They will all group activate and move off. I got one treasure. And then the rats, it doesn't matter. They smell him, they can move, whatever. Random creature does not happen. The wizard moves off, and that is that. Wow. So here is my surviving warband. My wizard, my apprentice, a thug, and green knight, which is an infantryman. So I need to roll now, since I've got you here, let's go ahead and do the wounded. Because uh, I'll, I'll do all this right now. So the soldiers. All right, so let's, let's just, we'll pick one up. So uh, let's see. So this was a thug. Thug, roll a d20 is a five, which is badly wounded. So guess what? One thug, I will not be hiring again. All right, next thug is this one. Doesn't matter. I can replace the thugs. He survived. All right, so survived. The green cloak is my ranger. Oh, here we go. I rolled a, what is that, a nine? A nine is full recovery. Yay. Uh, here's another thug. Eleven is a full recovery. Here is gray cloak, which is, gray cloak is my ranger that went down. Eleven, he's okay. And then the treasure hunter. Three, he died. Oh dead. So, I lost a thug and my treasure hunter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes sense. I have ten. So, that's not too bad. Um, and I did get two treasures. So, let's go ahead and roll on those. Um, the treasure is on page 85. Now, the first treasure, the I get a free scroll. So, I'll just write that free scroll, and I'll roll for that in a minute. And then the, it is a, I get to roll once, 19. It is 100 gold and a grimoire, which is good. I'm not going to re-roll that. And the second treasure, which was the one I picked up over here, is a 19. Same thing, 100 and a grimoire. So I got two grimoires and 200. Not bad. Let's see what the spells and the scroll are. Those are on page... 96, I think. 96. So you roll one die for the column and one for the row. So let's do the free scroll. Free scroll, the column is 5, and the, the vertical is 16, which is Furious Quill. Uh, the first grimoire, column is 7, which is the second one, and the row is 16, which is Absorb Knowledge. Absorb knowledge, okay? And then the next one, the row, the column is 20, which is this last one, and 19, which is reveal secret. Okay, those are the treasures I got. I'll deal with XP later, um, but the last thing I need to do is I need to roll for the home base. I've forgotten to do this on the last two games, or last game, I forgot to do it. I rolled it offline, it failed. So after each game, you roll a d20. On a 15 or 18, you get a scroll. On a 19 or 20, you find a grimoire. So I'm going to roll that. 
I rolled a, a six, so it failed. So that is that. Now, as for all the details, it looks like I had five, one, two, three, four, five bad spells cast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten good spells successfully cast. And two, two, four, six, eight, and ten creatures killed. All that for XP. All right. Wow. This should take me up to level eight. I think, unless I choose to learn a new spell, which I may spin that and go up a level. All right, that's all I have for this game. As you can see, Frostgrave, no matter how many times you play it, it will still surprise you. You, I mean, a simple rat rolling a crit on a 20 can take out a ranger. I mean, that's how it happens. Anyway, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back again very soon. Uh, probably, every, probably every Friday is my goal to try and release a new Frostgrave video solo video uh, every Friday, calling it uh, Frostgrave Friday. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I should be back next Friday with another Frostgrave video. The next scenario is called, just so you know, let's take a look. This was called The Library, The Living Museum. I'll be playing that one next. If you have the rule book, check it out. Check out the scenario so you know what I'm up against on the next one. All right, this is Jim the Tabletop Engineer. Thanks for joining me with another Frostgrave playthrough. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.